Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Invisible Mind podcast for Monday, February 1st, 2016. So, holy crap. It's February. Sheesh. Unfortunately, Sierra is still missing. I got an update on that book I was reading. I was at about 30%. And, you know, I, I read a lot of, I've been reading a lot of, of indie authors, and, and I can enjoy a lot of them. Even ones that aren't necessarily, you know, great. You know, but they might just be good. You know, I, I can get something out of it. And this book was just, it really wasn't doing it for me. And I, I talked about a little bit about it. And, and then I was reading it. I think it was Friday night. Might have been Saturday night. Doesn't matter. And he tried to use the phrase of being on tenter hooks, which is you know means like you know on the edge of anticipation kind of thing. And instead, he used tender hooks for the author. I'm not even sure if it's a male or female author. I didn't look. Instead, the author used tender hooks, T-E-N-D-E-R, and I'm just like, seriously, seriously, are you going to use specifically next instead of specifically? What? What? And but I kept on with it, and I was doing a little reading yesterday, and he started head hopping. And I'm just like, I'm done. I'm really done with this. So I closed that book, and I'm reading Jake Bible's Blood Cruise right now, which is is fun. I mean, he delivers what you expect. You know, he's bloody monster action. Yeah, he is. So what I thought I'd talk about today is baseball. You know, baseball is coming sometime later this month pitchers and catchers report down in uh, well, at, the, at all the spring training venues I was going to say down in Florida but not everybody spring trains in in Florida so that would have been an inaccurate statement the Tigers do and it would be fun sometime to go down there and see you know watch some of their spring training games that they do that would be kind of neat but, you know, I've been to a number of baseball games in the course of my life. I've been to the old Tiger Stadium. I've been to the new Comerica Park multiple times for both. I've been down to see the Toledo Mud Hens. And they're the uh, AAA team for Detroit. And Toledo is about eh, at least an hour, maybe closer to an hour and a half from here. So it's not too far to do occasionally, but it's certainly nothing you want to be driving all the time. But I, I like the minor league feel. It's closer, it's, it's a more intimate game, you're in a smaller park, you know, so you get a better view. And I've, and I've long kind of been bummed that there's been no minor league team here. Now, we got the Tigers here, so that probably explains why they don't usually put a minor league team in the same market as, as, the, uh, as the actual major league team. And, yeah, that makes some sense. You know, Toledo's close enough that they can call somebody up and they'll be there at the game that day. Yeah, I, I also enjoyed... You know, I, I enjoyed once we went, when we were in uh, Arizona, we went to Goodyear and saw, I don't remember who it was, it might have been like, um, I think it was one of the Ohio teams, maybe, might have, been the, might have been the Indians, I forget who it was we saw, but we went to that game, and that was fun, because that, you know, had more of a minor league feel, it was a minor league sized park, pretty much. It was nice, you know. 
problem with major leagues is a whole big ordeal to go to a game. You know, it's you got the price of tickets, which isn't terribly cheap typically. You've got parking, which is you know, twenty bucks, and you got to deal with you know getting down there and traffic and the crowds and all this. And, you know, I I have an online friend that he lives in Modesto, California. And they have a minor league team in town called the Modesto Nuts. And I believe he has season tickets for them. And they always go to the Nuts game. He's also an A's fan. But, you know, it just seems like it'd be really fun to be able to have a minor league team near that you go to. Uh, you got Toledo. I think there's one in Grand Rapids that's for a different, somebody else's farm system, not the Tigers. But you know, Grand Rapids is two and a half hours away, so that's no better. Well, I found out a couple weeks ago uh, from a co-worker that they are building a, a baseball stadium uh, right along where I drive to work. And in fact, I'm in about half a mile here, I'm going to drive right past it. Uh, they're building this baseball stadium. It's supposed to be up this summer. I think games are supposed to start in June. And what it's for is an independent baseball league. That's actually going to have three different teams using the same venue. So, you know, to maximize, I guess, the number of home games. I think they said that they're thinking there'd be like 75 games, at, you know, at the stadium over the course of a season for these three different teams. And they're, I don't remember the names. They're named after local towns here. Uh, I think one of them is named after Utica, which is the town it sits in. And whatnot. not. And what kind of gets me is that, you know, they've been building this thing, and I've been driving past it, and I didn't really think much about it. You know, they're building a building. And, you know, I didn't, I, I really didn't look too closely at it. And then when I was reading this article, it was talking about, oh, it's going to be, you know, along, you know, M59 here at a certain place, and there would be, and yeah, now that I look at it, you can easily tell it's like grandstand seating. Quite easily. So, yeah, I mean, it's really close. Don't know what ticket prices are going to be like, but uh, yeah, I think that might be fun that, you know, to get a little bit more, you know, intimate baseball feel. Uh, it's not going to be a huge, huge ballpark by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, yeah, go check that out and see what that's like, and you know that might be fun to go to something a little bit more low key to go to go to a baseball game on the afternoon. And it's not necessarily the event that going to a Tigers game is. Hopefully, uh, the food and the beer is a little cheaper too. But anyway, I think I'll let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.